Storm Spirit with the early remnant. Just very easy to just zone out wings. They don't want to go under it. He is going for a soul ring first and might not have access to secret chapter in time. Ice Ice trying to interrupt this, but well, Koifa with the overload. The stomp's going to kick in. He's still got that overload hit, and that's going to allow Cinderin to spill first blood and Faith sticking around. Why did Faith wake up the sleep? I that's, I think, what killed Elder Titan right there. They're probably having a chat in the old team room and blocking up that spawn. Uh, Morphling. Just wave forms forward. He may regret this in a moment. The Rod's going to come and Eero's in the neighborhood. He wants to Omni Slash right now, though. There's too much around him. And Shadow, strength morphing up, but the Omni Slash hits perfectly. So good smoke gank. They'll move over to Innocence. They have enough damage in time. Innocence barely escaping. That wave form. But now keeping in support. So Eero will return. And they've also got Storm Spirit moving up with the Invis rune. He's going to come from behind. The Diasai would have seen him pick this up or even trigger it thanks to the Vord, which is down inside the Radiant Jungle. But with the spin damage, the Vortex, they pull back in the Death Prophet. They find the kill. Era so low. Ice Ice, the one hit is not enough. Koifa slows him up. And yep, so not really a hell of a lot to give to Koifa. Just tether. And are probably just going to wait for it to get into my range. Maybe even not. Well, yeah, there it is. Deny range. Era, he wants it. He really, really wants it. One hit, fortification will come as well. Era is on the run. He's going to spin. Needs that extra movement to get away. The last attack is going to be enough from Death Prophet. But the mid tower was still taken by Cinderin. Was it value for money or value for life? Yep, saw Tether forward. Cinderin with an extra multicast. Follow up. Yeah, they need more damage. Koifa, where's that jump? Okay, that'll work. Relocate out from Yep, saw. Ends up grabbing. The Storm Spirit, Beastmaster, going to go up and doors the air thanks to a Yule Scepter. So Keizu stays numbered, hoped to be denied up by some kind of ghost, but not to be the case. And now Yapsor is the man that has to fight up against three. What is that range creep doing there? I don't know. I maybe followed down. That'd be wow. the assumption. A double kill in for the Death Prophet. It took a very long time for them to kill that Wisp, mostly because of a missed stock coming out from Ice Ice. But it will be by staying close enough inside. Now the jump forward, the snatch, Faceless Void. He snatches the Aegis to the Immortal. It's gonna burn here, the Splitter as well. Era will be protected for the moment with a roar on Shadow. They try and keep him now to fight. They need Ice Ice to drop, get rid of this aura. The only sign from Era will allow that to happen. As now they move over to a bigger target, onto the Death Prophet, group up. Yamsor now comes back from his relocate save, and they still haven't finished that target. The Death Prophet, false promise from Oracle, will buy a little bit more time, but the heal is sort of there for the Death Prophet, but will it be enough? It may just be enough for him to stand the fight. Yep, he goes straight back to full life. Koifer has a ball landing himself to his side of the river. So the Faceless Void burns the Aegis the Immortal, even if Escape do find the kill on Roshan. That was such a gutsy play coming out from a Faceless Void going in there without Chronosphere. But he did. And they had vision of that with a Hawk, but I think it's time. Wings will be okay to take a team fight now. Good Obs Ward. Just out of range of both of the sentries of Innocence. Koifa gets Koifa. caught out by the Stomp and will perish under the Chronosphere. However, how, how does that happen? Like, you oh, he just, got stomped, and then he tried to dodge it, but he dodged too late. But he's just oh, okay. Uh, dodge too late was the part. I'm like, because you TP back, but they've already lost their bottom tower. Shadow brought it down. I almost say almost solo, but it's pretty damn close. Faith jumps in. Nice time dilation, causing problems for Cinderin. Doesn't have a stun for 17 seconds, and now dead as well for 44. The jump forward, Koifa looking for a target. The ET splitter will keep the rest of escape out while isolating Koifa outside the base. He'll drop as well. He has to buy back now. Like if they lose this, they lose two lanes of racks. And Shadow wants to go for more. Just wave forming out. Remember, he's still got the Aegis Team Hall of Koifa. Long jump forward, then a jump back out again. Innocence gives him a little bit of a save. So Shadow can go back in again. Now it's Era who's on the front lines. He blinked forward looking for the Omni Slash, but all he found was death. So he has to buy back and go for a round two. That's two big buybacks now. Both Storm as well as Juggernaut expending the money. And all they want to do is finish up the bottom racks with the help of the Exorcism. They're going to be able to do this. It's gone so long. 
that has come back off cooldown. Shadow, Waveform out. They're looking to keep that control on Koifa with the stomp. They bring him down. It's a dieback on him. Exorcism still going to work. The Omni Slash, it's not enough damage. Ice Ice is taking most of it. Now it goes into the Creep Wave and they bounce back up again. But you've lost Cinder and Shadow keep, keeps going for the rise. He's hoping someone's going to burn this damn Aegis the Immortal. He's had it the entire fight. This ET is doing so much work in the team fights. That's the second time he stumped. That's why Storm Spirit died. He got hit by two stumps. First one was the Yules into the stomp, and that was actually Blink's Yules. But second time he just got hit by a stomp without any setup. Man, they got Chrono off cooldown again. Faith can go. You can get a second dive back right now. They're beating through the tier three towers. 35 minutes in. There it is. The E Blade shotgun. Era is gone for a minute and a half. And that could actually spell now a third lane of racks at the pace the Wings is doing this. Seconds left on a Shadow Walk, though. Oh, he's got shadow a Shadow Blade. Out in front. They, they have to be careful. That gem is still on the ET. Oh, they have the vision. The spirit right goes out. They found Keizu. Cinder and needs to lend a hand with a stun, but it's already too late. The Beastmaster is gone. The E Blade hit onto Era. The split is coming as well. They try and save him, but sliced in two. Cinderum will go down, and that is GG. Man. Wings have just grabbed this game by the balls, and they've got it. I expected a lot more, like, relocate into, uh, like, prim like, Primal Roar into relocates. I expected a fair amount of, like, zips into relocates, but it never really seemed like Escape got their feet off the ground. Yeah, the, the draft never...